is something that you don't really see very often, especially when you're in Arizona, in this pouch, a baby <laughs> wallaby. Yes, this is a tamar wallaby, and as you can see, we're hand-raising her. Um, however, it's kind of a unique situation because the mission at the Phoenix Zoo is to inspire people to live in ways that promote the well-being of the natural world. And so we have a very hands-off policy about babies at the Phoenix Zoo. We try to let them live in a natural environment when they grow up. But her mother passed away, and we were required to intervene for her survival. Really? So it's kind of unique for us to have a baby wallaby on us today. Now, she's very shy. Is there any way to get her out of the pouch? She or? is a little shy. Come on, Penelope. Come on, sweetie. Maybe if we feed there her, we oh, go. there she is. Look. She'll pop up there. Now, she, the, a wallaby is a member of the kangaroo family, right? Actually, they are it? not. They are, they are also a marsupial, like a kangaroo, but they're a different species. They're a little bit uh -oh. smaller than a kangaroo. Here, I'll let you wear her. Okay, now, again, one of the things that you mentioned is don't approach her from the front because she gets scared, right? Yeah, well, if you reach right at her face, it's a little threatening for her, and so sometimes she dives in her pouch. Mm -hmm. Now, how did you get her to come out? You kind of pushed on her? Yeah, you know what? This will get her to come out, I bet. Oh, here we go. Some food. Let's see if we've got some banana here. Now, they don't eat meat, right? They're uh, herbivores? They are herbivores. Very good. They are. Come on, Pumpkin. Oh, there look. You go. Come on. She's scared. She's all right when she comes out here. She's what I've got. Come yeah, on. squeezing her face helps, right? No, no I'm kidding, no. Brooke. Come on. This is, by the way, this is Brooke Bessison from the Phoenix Zoo. Thank I always forget to introduce look what I you. Look <gasps> Ooh. She's excited. Oh, oh. boy. There we go. Now, the, why, why, are they, uh, good. why are they normally found in places like Australia? Is it the climate, the land? It is. It's, it's partially the climate, and it's partially that that piece of land is broken off and as a continent doesn't allow them to migrate to other areas. And she eats dry grasses and lives in Australia and in coastal islands. And one of the unique adaptations she has is the ability to um, drink seawater. Really? Yeah. And in fact, they get most of their water from the plants that they eat. One of the unique things about her is that um, as a marsupial, she, her gestation is only 28 days. And then she comes out blind and naked, about the size of your pinky nail, and crawls up into her mother's pouch, where she spends about five to nine months developing. She comes out the size of your nail? Yeah, so she was born oh the size goodness. of your pinky nail, and she is nine months old now. That is just amazing. So that'll give you an idea how much she spends, how much time she spends, and how much growth she does. Now, how do they defend themselves? Who, who wants to eat the wallaby? Actually, her natural predators are man and eagles in her natural environment. Um, but the way that they defend themselves against other animals, like other wallabies, for like fighting and right. stuff, is that they have really powerful hind legs, like a kangaroo, and they have that tail that acts as a tripod. They can actually balance up and strike out with their hind feet. Do they, do they hop? Yes, like they do. Okay. They, in fact, their mobility is very similar to a kangaroo. And look at her nails. I mean, they're very, they're, they're very long, actually. I was surprised how long they were. They are, and their front hands, um, they're able to hold their food with it. She's really, really liking this banana. Here. Just a minute. Hold on. Rochelle, our producer, just piped something in. What was that, Rochelle? Oh, Rochelle wants to know if the wallaby gets the nails done at Rolf's. <laughs> <laughs> She's so funny. No, they're all natural. Oh, they look great, though. Listen, Brooke Besseson, thanks so much. And, and do kids... Do kids get to see the wallaby when they come out there? Is it the only one out at the zoo right As now? a matter of fact, she's got about two weeks to complete her weaning, so she is not available to be seen at the zoo. But we do have three healthy baby Mexican wolf pups oh, wow. that are on exhibit and are spending more time out of the den now. So we encourage people to come out and take a look at them. Oh, that's great. Thank you so much, yeah, Brooke and Penelope, for joining us. Hey, Royal, I don't know if you can see the wallaby from where you are, but isn't she cute? The wallaby. <laughs> yeah, I see one floating in the pool down there. <laughs> oh, we can't. He's cute, though, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, is she? It's Penelope. Oh, she. I'm oh, sorry. That's okay.